Starting with version 0.85, the free and open source Microsoft Power Toys application includes a module called New Plus. This adds an additional entry to the Windows context menu, which allows you to create new files from your own templates rather than just the standard blank files. You can create a custom sort order for the context menu and even create a folder of files in one go. Let's take a look at how it works. Once you have PowerToys version 0.85 or later installed on your PC, double click the PowerToys icon in the notification area or right click it and choose settings to bring up the PowerToys dashboard. Ensure that the new plus module is active and click the module to bring up the settings. Your templates location by default will be within your user settings but for the purposes of this demonstration i've just moved it to a location in the root of the c drive as of version 0.85 you'll get a warning below this saying that the power toys backup and restore feature won't back up or restore your templates take this into account and make sure that they're backed up elsewhere the power toys website states that if you want to use these templates across multiple pcs you should store them in a folder in your OneDrive and refer to that on each pc I've chosen not to show template file name extensions, so I've got that option on. And the option to hide template file name starting digits will cover later in the video. So if you right click to bring up your Windows context menu, you'll see an additional entry for new plus. And when you first run it, there are some example folders and files in there. So if I were to click the text file, it creates a text file on the desktop with the name that was in the menu. Let's delete that, right click and open templates to view the folder and remove these default templates. What I'll do next is copy in a couple of files from two of my previous videos. So we've got a project plan template and a KPI charts workbook. Now, if I right click and choose new, we can see that those two files are available as options for new documents. If I click the project plan template and open that, we get a blank project plan. And the beauty of this is if I wanted another one, I can click it again and again, and each of those be a copy of the project plan template. But what if for some reason, I wanted these to appear in a different order in the menus. Maybe I wanted project plan at the top. If I open the templates and put a number in front of each of them, so I want the project plan to be first and the KPI charts to be second. Now, if they're sorted by name, project plan will appear first. And they do, the project plan appears at the top of the list, but they look quite ugly with these numbers in front. If we go back to Power Toys settings for New Plus. We can turn on this option to hide template file names, starting digits, spaces, and dots. If I turn that on, look at that. We get the project plan template at the top because it has the number in front, but we don't see the number. New Plus also allows you to create entire folders of documents from templates in one go. So if I open the template folder, and copy in a folder I've created called Monthly Reporting, which has three template documents in, a PowerPoint document, a Word, and an Excel. And I went to New Plus and chose Monthly Reporting folder. So it creates the folder, but it also creates all the template documents inside that. At the moment, New Plus doesn't seem to want to create multiple copies of folders. It's not doing anything. We're not getting another folder with a number one after it. It just isn't doing anything. If I delete that folder, we can recreate it. It also won't let you have folders in the middle of a sorting list. Even if we put a number in front of that to try and change the hierarchy, folders will always appear at the top of the list. Although you can put numbers to sort your folders, you can also use spaces or dots to prefix files to help with the sorting as the option we turned on in the settings also takes those into account.
What New Plus doesn't yet do, but which would be really useful, is to use wildcards for things like dates and times. As an example, if I open the templates folder and copy in a version of the monthly reporting folder, but I've put a date flag on the end. It would be great if New Plus could pick that up and replace that with some variant of today's date. Unfortunately, it can't. So what you'll get is you get that folder just with the date tag on the end. And I'd also put the date tag on the end of the files. What you can use here is another feature of Power Toys, which is Power Rename. If you've got that activated, you can use it to search for that date flag across the folder and all the subfiles and replace that with, let's use this month. And you can see it's going to rename all those and take the date flag out and put October 2024 in its place. So now that folder has this month on, as do all the files. It's not ideal, but it's quicker than renaming all the files individually. Hope you found this useful as an overview of what New Plus can currently do, and hopefully we'll see some refinement of the features in future versions. If you found this useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get updated when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.